Welcome to another video, and welcome to the channel. The African continent is one of the largest landmasses in the world, covering an area of over 30 million square kilometers. However, it is slowly splitting into two separate landmasses due to the East African Rift System, a geological phenomenon that is causing tectonic plates to move away from each other. The East African Rift System is a series of geological faults and valleys that extend from the Red Sea to Malawi in southeastern Africa. It is one of the most active rift systems in the world, and it is causing the African continent to slowly split into two separate landmasses the African continent and the Somali Peninsula. This process, known as continental rifting, occurs when tectonic plates move away from each other and create a gap between them. In the case of the East African Rift System, the African plate and the Somali plate are moving away from each other, causing the continent to slowly split apart. This process is occurring very slowly and is estimated to take millions of years to complete. As the plates move away from each other, they create a gap and this gap is filled with molten rock from the Earth's mantle. This molten rock rises to the surface and creates new landmasses, such as the Ethiopian Plateau, which was formed as a result of the East African Rift System. As a consequence, many countries who are now landlocked, like Uganda and Ethiopia, will begin to see greater economic benefits due to the formation of coastlines in these areas. This will open up many opportunities for export trade, as well as growth in manufacturing and mass production. Moreover, the rift system is creating new lakes, volcanoes, and other geologic features in the region. For example, Lake Victoria, which is one of the largest freshwater lakes in the world, was formed as a result of the East African rift system. This lake is a vital resource for the people living in the region and supports a diverse ecosystem. A 2004 scientific study published in the Earth and Planetary Science Letter on the separation of the Somalian tectonic plates and the Nubian tectonic plate suggests that the plates are separating at about a few millimeters per year. The East African Rift System is also creating new mountain ranges, such as the Renzori Mountains in Uganda, which are home to some of the highest peaks in Africa. The rift system is also causing volcanic activity in the region, with several active volcanoes, including Mount Kilimanjaro, which is the highest peak in Africa. The splitting of the African continent is a fascinating process that is shaping the landscape of the region. While this process is occurring very slowly and is estimated to take millions of years to complete, it is fascinating to witness the natural forces that are shaping our planet. However, this process is not without consequences. The splitting of the African continent is causing seismic activity in the region, and there is a risk of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Moreover, the rift system is creating a gap between the African continent and the Somali Peninsula, which may eventually result in the formation of a new ocean. Researchers now believe these tectonic plate shifts may be leading to the creation of the Earth's sixth ocean. The African continent is slowly splitting into two separate landmasses due to the East African Rift System, a geological phenomenon that is causing tectonic plates to move away from each other. This process is occurring very slowly and is estimated to take millions of years to complete. While this process is fascinating, it is not without consequences, and scientists are closely monitoring the region to understand the impact of the splitting of the African continent. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it on social media, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.